I want you to think of some of the best Marvel games that have released in the past five years, and right off the bat, the first thing that probably pops in your mind is Miles Morales, Spider-Man 2, or even Midnight Suns. Now let's imagine some good DC games that were released in the past five years, and maybe Suicide Squad comes to mind, Gotham Knights if you want to call out a good game, but that's it. DC really hasn't had any notable games released in a really long time. Their highest rated game in the last five years got a 76 on Metacritic, which by the way is a great score, but guess which game got that score? And I'll give you a hint, it wasn't Suicide Squad or Gotham Knights. Go ahead, take a few seconds to think about it and make a guess. It was Justice League Cosmic Chaos, and honestly, I don't know whether I should be surprised or disappointed. Even if we compare the upcoming games from both companies, Marvel announced Wolverine, Rise of Hydra, Marvel Rivals, Iron Man, Black Panther, and Blade. And with all these new Marvel titles coming, DC has to have something to retaliate with, right? Well, let's see what DC has announced. We're getting a new Wonder Woman game and the mobile game. That's it. As a whole, the quality of DC products over the years has dropped, and it's not just with the games. Really, the only DC-related thing that I've really enjoyed has been the animated films. They barely miss with these, but it's just really sad to see the games get to this point. I won't say all the old DC games are amazing, because we all know that's not true. But at one point, they were pretty consistent when it came to making decent games, and I kind of have a theory as to how it got to this point. DC has always played it kind of safe with their games. All of their games follow a certain formula, which isn't a bad thing. If it's not broken, why fix it? But because it works, and it's always worked, they're never going to deviate from this formula. The older Batman games are kind of mixed when it comes to how good they are, but with the Arkham games, they finally found something that works. Problem is, there's only so many of these that they can make, and I think they know that, which only really leaves a few different options. Start porting or remastering old games, which they've already started doing, or start making games using completely different IPs. As much as me and I think every DC fan would love that they branched away from Batman and made a game using different characters, I can honestly understand why they don't. Outside of characters from the Justice League, there aren't really any other DC characters that has the same popularity as Batman, and DC just isn't going to spend money to make a game on characters that aren't popular, which only leaves Justice League, and of the main seven members, I could really only see Warner Bros and Rocksteady making a good game for three of them. I actually don't think a good Green Lantern game would be too difficult to make, and I know Rise of the Manhunter is considered to be a bad game, but it is a movie tie-in, and most of these just aren't good. I'm not sure exactly what made Rise of the Manhunters bad, but from the little piece of gameplay I've seen, it doesn't look too bad, and I think if they try something similar but with a better studio, it'd work out really well. Flash, on the other hand, I really can't think of how a Flash game would work. I sat and thought about it for a while, and I really can't think of a single thing that they can do. I remember a while ago when somebody made one of those Unreal Engine videos with the Flash, and a lot of people were saying, well, why doesn't DC just do something like that? And while the concept is cool, what else would there be? The biggest challenge will be trying to figure out how to incorporate a speed in the actual gameplay that's fun, and that's not something that's just outside of Warner Bros or Rocksteady's scope. I think any studio that tries to make a Flash game is going to have a lot of work cut out for them. There's been a few attempts at making a good Superman game, and all of them were terrible. It's hard to make a good Superman game because he's Superman. He's arguably one of DC's most overpowered superheroes, and trying to balance that out in a video game is hard. They almost kind of got it right in Superman Returns for the Xbox 360, where instead of Superman having a health bar, the city does, but even then, that game wasn't even that great. I'm not even going to speak on why we don't need an Aquaman game, I'm just going to put this little piece of gameplay up and I think this speaks for itself. And lastly, Martian Manhunter. I don't know too much about this character outside of the Justice League cartoons, but I don't think DC will even consider giving him his own game, because he's not as nearly as popular as the other characters. But I think just like a Green Lantern game, a Martian Manhunter game could be fun and interesting. But the main point I'm trying to get at is that it is possible to make a unique game with all of these characters, but the scope would be too big, which is a risk that DC just isn't willing to take which is why they're going to continue to play safe like they've always done. And with Batman out of the picture, the next best thing is just copy what everybody else is doing. And following trends isn't really a bad thing. Most companies nowadays do it, but it becomes a problem when studios that are trying to follow trends are lazy and only care about making money. Rocksteady isn't the company that they used to be. Most of the original devs from Rocksteady left in the middle of development for Suicide Squad, and they didn't give a reason why they left, but I feel like the state of the game has something to do with it. And then there's Warner Brothers, which is probably going to be a whole nother video, because sometimes it feels like they just want their games to fail. You would think after the first time they would learn their lesson, after their first life service game failed, but instead of that, they just doubled down. DC just needs to stop letting Warner Bros. get involved with their games and hire different studios. There's so many other creative studios out there that I can see making really good games with DC characters if they were just given the chance to. I'm really hoping that they can get it together, because with the amount of content DC has, there really isn't an excuse. 